Hey up, hey up there, mate. Way. Not even, I'm sober as well, so. Senile, di senile falling. Um, <laughs> Olympus has fallen. Hazo has fallen. Get Gerard Butler to pick me back up again. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people were reaching out and seemed to be in a, in a going through a hard time, mate. So I thought, what perfect time to just cook up a steak. We'll talk. It, we'll make it quick. We'll just talk about what we've found hard, what we've enjoyed, uh, like you know, what how we have bettered ourselves, what we what we like about lockdown, and a couple of things that we're doing to help help our noggins and help us through lockdown and then i'm going to tag three people and send it out there not bothered if you tag me back or mention me at all i just want it out there so it encourages it it encourages us uh men of a certain type you know of a certain there's a certain type of man that finds it hard to talk about them their emotions i'm <laughs> i'm clearly not one of them the blubbering wreck. Um, but if it encourages people, and uh, not just men, women can get involved as well, but if it encourages men, them sort of men, I don't know, like, you know what I mean. You know them men I mean. Tough as hard boots, they don't say out, and then, but really it's hurting on the inside. So it's for you, lads. And, uh, yeah, just to encourage people to talk about it. You might not talk about it yourself, but you might find a little bit of... Uh, you might gain something from listening to other people talk about it and that, and you know, problem shared and all that. Right, so let's get on with it. Let's get a fire going and let's crack on. Right, so because I was in a rush and I've only got, I've only brought me a little Osprey bag. I've forgotten my fire steel. Ah, <laughs> oh, forgot my fire steel. I've done a Joe Robinette and I shout out Joe Robinette and uh, lost me fire steel so that's going to be an issue that's going to be an issue I've also and this is absolutely mad <laughs> lockdown's getting to me mate I can't remember it's been a while I'm not used to it I've forgot mistake as well <laughs> I've made a mistake and forgot mistake so <laughs> I've come to cook a steak in woods to do a shows you steak lockdown challenge and uh, I forgot my fire steel and I forgot my steaks so <laughs> I can't really talk I can't unless we're doing something bushcrafty or something so I can put it in thumbnail so people actually watch how can I what can I do I'll tell you what I can do <clears throat> what have we got we've got there's a lot of there's oak, there's not, there's not much variety in here, there's oak and there's a lot of silver birch, so I could use silver birch and we could try and get a bow drill going, I could use my shoelaces. Should we do that? See if we can get a fire going at least, I don't, I can't, no, I don't have a steak. See if we can find some wild edibles, or I'll make a fire and we'll have a little chat round fire, that's, that's what we'll do. And if I can't, if I can't get a fire going... I'll put a load of sticks together, like in a little teepee formation, and we'll have a little chat around the sticks. There's a nice straight piece, look. That's nice, isn't it? That's a nice piece, look, yeah? Why do I keep... Jesus, I'm, s I'm better... More stable when I'm pissed. Come up here, you. Stop slouching. Stop slouching on my watch. What have I told you? So here we go, look. This will be what I'll use as my spindle, because this straight bit here. So... The thing about bushcraft and survival is you've got to film it and put it on internet, otherwise it hadn't happened. Only joking. The thing about bushcraft and survival is adaptability. And it's the same as I have at work, mate. If I'm, you know, if I'm designing and building a big garden, and you, you know, you, you you don't have a certain material, and you've got to use something else. You you adapt. It's adaptability to overcome your situations. And 
that's what I'm doing now, mate. Real life adaptability. Obviously, you know, what you should do is plan ahead, plan meticulously, <laughs> and then you won't have to think on your feet. But you, you don't always have that luxury. So, you know, in a survival situation, you've got to make, make do what you've got. Oh, the knife of choice is my custom, get out my face, is my uh, custom SE3, customised by my mate Luke over at York Knives. Uh, bought for me originally by, uh, by my girlfriend, so it's a very important knife to me. I love it dearly, I love it dearly. Right, so what you want is nothing too thicker than your thumb, nothing smaller than your little finger, and you want to be... If you do that, surf's up, it wants to be roughly there, somewhere around there. And as I don't have a saw, <laughs> why would I have anything with me? <laughs> it was one of them, I just chucked it in the bag, you know when you feel, you feel um, inspired. You feel like you want to just get out and do something. It was one of them. So I just, my little Osprey Viper 9 bag. Which is, I tell you what, mate, I'm getting sidetracked here. This little thing, the Osprey Viper, use it for cycling and stuff, is an absolute beast, mate. I love it, I love it. We're pushing it in with our thumb in one direction all the way around, and then turn it the other way around. And if you just work it the other way, and you can, I'm not even showing you. <laughs> And then you take off quite a lot of material doing that. And if you don't have a saw, you'd be surprised. It takes a little bit longer, but you'd be surprised the size of the the size of the bits of timber you can get through. Keep it in focus, Danielson. There you go, and then it'll just break off it so both want a point on but the point that's going on your bearing block which is going to be in your hand wants to be ever so finer come to a finer point so it doesn't have it doesn't create as much friction and then obviously you the other side sorry if I don't know terminology also sorry to all you get down there you sorry to all you uh, you know professionals out there if you're a bushcraft teacher or whatever I might be doing there's a lot of things I do that are wrong I, loads of things mate but you know I'm like Tesco's own brand mate uh, like I do everything but nothing particularly well <laughs> do you know what I mean gardening spear fishing wild camping figure skating I've got a lot of I've got a lot of things that I can do, but I don't really, I don't really do any of them um, very well. So if you're a bushcraft instructor or you know you take this shit seriously, <laughs> then I apologise. I don't know the terminologies for stuff, and um, and I might my you know my techniques might be a little bit wrong. So maybe don't learn from me. Maybe just watch this because I'm this isn't about this anyway. This is about having a chat with you lot about stuff. Anyway, this is a shows your state challenge without a stake. Anyway, you want that to be a bit straighter if I was you, mate. Then so because just take that curl out out the end there. It's a bit curved. That's the that's the badger. So that bit that'll go on the pointed end there, as you can't see there. That'll go on my bearing block that I'm going to make. Luckily as well I had these gloves in the van, my work gloves in in, uh, in my van, so that's another little boothy bonus mad. And then that side, that'll go, so it'll go that way up basically, and I'll just take these little nodes off. Now we need to get a hearth, which is going to be the, the, the bit of wood that this sits on and drills into like that, so. Let's have a look for one and we'll have to batten it down with... 
with little knife. I don't have an axe or a bigger knife, so let's go let's go sort that out. Right, sweepstake, what's gonna break first? I reckon this. Oh no, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Right, how punky is it though? You know what? It's very punky. Steady. Steady the Eagle Edwards. Right, so we've got our um, our half and we've got our spindle. That's just that's not gonna work though, because that's too punky. Sorry for everyone who suffers from motion sickness. I know there's a few of you out there. Look at it, you can see you can tell by the land anyway that it was very very wet you see this the discoloration of the leaves here it's a lot darker and in fact you can see that there's still swampy bits kicking about you got me what are you looking at there you go whatever and that was a live tree as well and that takes some doing but i've been training and i in lockdown oh that's tiny it's a bit small What I'm gonna do, do I even know what I'm do, gonna do? So just how I, just like how I uh, chiseled into me uh, spindle, I'm just gonna do that on here, on the bow. But just go once round either way, either side, and that'll just create a nice little area for the, um, <laughs> for my shoelace. To, to nestle into so it doesn't slip out and whatever ness and dormer. Bring it round there and we can maybe just attach it onto the Y at the end. Why? Because I forgot my fire steel, didn't I? Like an absolute donut. So hold my thumb underneath it and when I come back round again that's created a little loop that I can then Go under, and I can tighten that up nicely. Like so. so you want something live for your, uh, your bearing block. Something that's a little bit less punky that I've split down, because I don't think that other thing's going to work. See, be honest. Oof. This is a little bit of live oak, because I can't chop anything bigger because I don't have a saw and I don't have the time to be chopping out bigger with it. So a little bit of spit <laughs> and a bit of green leaf it worked into the hole there. Just makes it a lot, makes it slide a lot, do not catch. So a little hole just to get us started. Okay. That's how I like it. And you can rest hand against shin. Oh, come off it, mate. Not the best um, bearing block I've ever made. So slowly, slowly does it. So what we're going to do is just see if it, I mean, that's the action we want. I'll put a bit more pressure on. Right, and so now what you want to do is create a V that works its way into that hole. <laughs> Are you all still there? You haven't done one, have you? That was sheer boredom of watching me trying to get a fire going. Smokey McGee. I had it, but I lost it. <laughs> Story of my lockdown. <laughs> right, that is a metaphor for life. Add it and lost it. That is the story of my lockdown. Add it, going well, lost it.
<laughs> and then to stay with story at lockdown we're gonna get it back we are getting it back even if I have to stay here uh, until I die of either starvation or thirst I'm staying here until I get this <laughs> here we go so you can see the smoke already so I think it was just because my V was a bit too big <laughs> she said so it wasn't concentrated enough so I'll just have to do it for a little bit longer than normal but you can see that smoke hopefully you can see that smoke anyway Get it over, get it over. Ooh. Ah. Oh, come on, come on, you've got to see it. Go on. Oh, come on. Go on, catch, go on. Turn it, turn it. Whoa. There we are. Gate down on the gate down on deck. Turn it over. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> it is fire, I promise. There. Go on. There it is. That's fire, isn't it? You can't deny it. I'm a straight rider. Oh yes. Sir. <laughs> Oh mate, I don't want a fire as well. <laughs> Get it back on fire from, from whence it came. It's served its purpose, hasn't it? That was a show as your steak challenge. I do apologise that I didn't show you my steak. Oh dear me. Thing is though, I'm going to have to have a, a steak in thumbnail, aren't I? So, what I'll do is, over at weekend, I'll go into the back garden and I'll cook a steak up. Bob's your uncle, there's your thumbnail. <laughs> I got my steak. It's a couple of days later. Um, I've got my steak with me, so I'm just going to quickly rustle it up. I've come back to the same spot, mate. Just put in a bit of effort in. I thought, what do it in the garden? I'll just come to the same spot. And I'm not going to... I've got me... I've got everything I need to start a fire easily. So I'm not going to piss about with this bit. I'm just going to show you that I've cooked a steak. Maybe breathe some fire on it just for a bit of, just for a bit of theatre. There you go. That's how I like it. Chad. Mmm. This is what should have happened a couple of days ago. <laughs> I'll take you back to um, Hazy in the past. When I get, when I sometimes get emotional, it's not because I'm, I'm like losing my noggin, because I just can't handle, I can't handle, uh, you know, joy and goodness. The goodness of mankind sometimes just makes my eyes sweat. So that's that. Not a sign of weakness, because I once knocked out a bear with a left hook. It was in a zoo and it was tranked up, but it's not the point. Point is I'm right-handed and it it was a left hook. Anyway, I'm di <laughs> I'm digressing here. Sometimes I wish I could just um, turn my camera on and have a chat with you, but I have to like I have to sort of sandwich that chat in between two like two loafs of bushcraft as you, <laughs> or whatever. And that's why I'm I think I'm starting a podcast, mate. I'm gonna start a little podcast as well as do these um, my outdoor videos and stuff. I'm going to start a podcast and you'll get a, a, a video version on YouTube and you'll also get, also get an audio version wherever you get your podcasts from. And the first episode is going to be, the trial episode is going to be 
recorded this weekend and it's going to be with Joey D and it's going to go on my patrons page just because I imagine that there's going to be all sorts of technical issues so it could be funny might be tragic who knows so so many people reached out last time uh, on, on my last video with stories of how they'd struggled or missed their partners or you know their emotions were going up and down they didn't know what to think all these sort of things so I thought the best thing to do was just address it on a video and then let's all talk about it but first of all I'd just like to uh, give a, just a shout out to Simon a bloke in the woods who tagged me in a challenge of doing is cooking something with three ingredients well there you go Simon I've cooked with less than three ingredients <laughs> I've got I've cooked with no ingredients da -da. but shout out you Simon and uh, I, I, I was feeling bad about not doing that but I, get, I do get asked to do a hell of a lot of challenges and, and stuff and yeah it's hard enough doing my own thing man so I do apologize Simon and that's my that's for you in a way and I am going to tag some people uh, but not just to cook something with three ingredients this is going to have a I've sort of hijacked it in a way just so that we can just get a bit of, a bit of a conversation going I'm not bothered about getting tagged in it you don't need to mention me or anything like that I'm not bothered let's just get a bit of a a bit of a dialogue going because uh, I believe I really believe it will help some people out there because I've the people who've reached out to me especially and so this is it man you the same as last time you go out cook us up a steak I've done it in my garden I'll even do I'll breathe fire on it again I'll do there you go just to make it a proper shows your steak challenge this is mainly to men this is mainly to men who struggle to talk about their, their feelings and their emotions we've all got that mate or that dad or granddad or uncle or it could even be yourself who just struggles to be honest with themselves and bottles it all up and it ain't healthy mate so this is just a good excuse to talk about your feelings really um, and I know it's all it's quite trendy now isn't it for, to talk about men's mental health and to, and, and, uh, and the people jump on bandwagon and it's 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 like avocados isn't it they came out of nowhere but it's it's important to me and I grew up around mental health I, and I, I've, I suffer from mental health myself I've, I've got ADHD um, chlamydia I've got all sorts of like my brain races and I've had problems with drugs and alcohol in the past and stuff so it's I'm coming from a place of understanding now also just after before I kick before I go on there is a difference between mental health as in suffering from you know social anxiety depression and then mental health is in schizophrenia and, and things like that there is a difference and I aren't qualified probably not qualified to talk about either but um, you know seek medical help if, if you if things like changing your diet and exercising and and all these sort of things aren't helping please do seek medical help go see a professional but always speak to your friends and family okay right so what it is cook a steak and we talk about just quickly what you found hard about quarantine like the hardest things you've found um, what you've enjoyed about quarantine and what you've uh, done to sort of help yourself through it um, and that's that basically so I'm gonna start with what I found hard about quarantine and it was missing my missing my family missing my daughter missing my girlfriend missing my friends contact human contact uh, not being able to go on my adventures so that my mind starts to not play tricks on me but my chimp brain takes over and I did speak about this last time but my chimp brain takes over and I start drinking a lot things just go out of control with me I've got no there's no middle ground I'm still trying to find that middle ground so it's either all or nothing and you know throughout the for, 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 for you know for a few couple of weeks in the middle of lockdown I really did lose it mate I went I was just not batshit but I just couldn't get a grip on my on my drinking and I started smoking I never smoke I got the lungs of an athlete and a free diver I started smoking again and that and oh you know just I was really unhappy and my, mo my, my emotions were all over the place mate because it's a weird time in it and I wasn't used to being locked locked away on my own 
and so I, I did I really did suffer mate but I you know I, I've just spoke about this that I got to see my daughter see my girlfriend that really helped and I reached out spoke to my dad things like this speaking to friends open like even speaking to the camera you know it helps it make it breathes life into it that's what I've struggled with what I've enjoyed really enjoyed taking a step back from everything seeing the veil being pulled back on things like celebrity commercialism capitalism all that sort of isms uh, and, and and being able to just I've been doing yoga and just meditating and appreciating the finer things in life like nature and and just finding a different pace in life and I've really really enjoyed it and there's a part of me that doesn't even want to go back to normality how it was before because I've sort of found a balance now that is just it's really nice really nice um, yeah, I did struggle with work a little bit, money situations. So I do thank everybody who bought a patch and sticker. That helped immensely. So thank you for that. And what have I done to? How did I pull myself? How did I pull myself out my own ass, mate? How did I sort my head out? I spoke to people. I spoke to friends. I spoke to my dad. I wrote a list of the things that were that were niggling me, the things that were doing my head in, and just started to tick them off and work on them. Meditate. Eating, eating good, trying to get sleep. Sleep is so important to get a healthy sleep with no alcohol or drugs involved, which, you know, in lockdown, I know we're all struggling with. So, yeah, I mean, sleep is the bedrock, mate. It's your foundations uh, for which you can build a good, healthy, uh, healthy outlook on life and a healthy attitude on that. So, yeah, sleep, man. Sleep, diet, exercise. I came out the gun so quick, once I'd sorted my head out, I came out the gun so quick, I'd give myself shin splints. <laughs> what else, mate? I, look, there is a lot of stuff. So I started reading, reading books, um, not so much self-help books, but things that make you think differently. So I guess they do help self-help books. <laughs> self-help books, podcasts, anything positive. Get rid of anything negative on your timeline, on your Instagram or your Facebook or anything. If you ever swipe past something, and it gives you a pang of like, oh, I don't like that. Or I feel an emotion that's not good. Like a, you feel jealous or you feel left out. You feel anything negative, delete it. Gone, 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 gone. Any, you know, any acquaintances, any acquaintances that you have that you have that same feeling with, you know, you maybe think about stepping back from that. Uh, any toxic relationships, start stepping back, stepping back from that and surround yourself with only good and positive things. Cut back on the news, that ain't doing you no favours at all. TV, just instilling, just making you scared. Just ma filling you full of fear and desire. Scared of things you, you, that aren't there and desiring things that aren't essentially gonna make you happy and content. And that's just a few words, mate. I could go on for a long time about it, but uh, I'm gonna pass the torch on to, 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 um, three other people from here <laughs> lads i want you to do it not just for yourselves or for me just do it for other people for the people who who maybe look up to you and and watch you and all you need to do mate is cook a steak if you're a vegetarian mushroom anything really but it's the shows your steak challenge get it cooked up and have a, and just a few words on on how you're dealing with the lockdown how your your mental state is during lockdown the first one is is my friend my boy you all know him it's mike from ta outdoors i'm tagging you mate um because you've just got you've got a massive platform and you've got a, a younger audience as well that because young people are struggling mate my daughter's been struggling going being naughty and stuff like that you know, young people are struggling and they need to know and you've got a huge audience mike so i'm hoping that if you just say a few words cook up a steak tell us what you found hard what you've enjoyed and what you're doing to get through it and then just tag a couple of people let it go uh, my second one is someone who is a regular regularly in my comments and always leaves a very nice comment and it's Andy Wardle or Wardell. He always leaves a nice comment. 
and he messaged under my recent video saying that he's just had a bereavement and someone very close to him and he seemed like he was uh, he was cut up about it and so I felt bad for you mate and so I'm sending you a lot of love and positivity and you know I've lost someone you know we've all lost people or well not all of us but I have and I know it's pretty raw for you at the moment but the only advice that I can give you for now is um, that soon the sadness turns into pride so you'll be heartbroken and sad that they've gone and then that slowly will give way to, to an immense pride of of knowing that person and it'll, they'll become an inspiration and, a, and, and when you think about them they'll, they'll encourage you, they'll inspire you and they'll become a part of you in that way, in a positive way. Um, it might not feel like it now if, it's, if the wound's still fresh and it's still kicking your dick off mate but trust me in time that's what will happen so I'm sending you a lot of love mate and I'm sure everybody else is as well. Uh, shows your stake, mate. Talk about it. Talk about quarantine. And tag a couple of people. And also, this is just a cheeky one. But I'm putting it out there just in case. Um, I want to tag... Uh, I want to tag Foxy. Jason Fox. From SAS Who Dares Wins. Um, I know he's a big advocate of, of mental health. And I'm... I'm gunning to get on his podcast, so if, if you watch it, I don't know if you, why you would watch this, mate, but I would love to come on your podcast um, and have a little chat about mental health and about how the outdoors can help with men's mental health. Plus, your podcast is sponsored. You're sponsored by whiskey. I'm sponsored by an ale, an, a brewery. <laughs> we could have a laugh together. So, Foxy, if you're watching, mate, it can just be an Instagram thing, mate, just cooking a steak, couple of words on how you're dealing with uh, lockdown and in, in your own way. Just, just a little sound bite or whatever you can muster if you can. And if you do, eternally grateful, mate. Right, so yeah, so if stay well, everyone. And if you can uh, do us a favour, go over to Mike T Outdoors uh, and go, and, go over to Foxy and just tell him I've tagged him. And if he wants to show us his steak and just have a, a few words about mental health, Thanks again, as always, for the support. And take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Namaste. Namaste safe, mate. In fact, I'm ending this. I'm going to do about, I don't know, 150 press-ups I think I've got, but it'll be boring for you. I won't even time-lapse it. No point, mate. So we'll just end it here, shall we? One, two, 998, 999 grand. Absolute grand. Woo! That's how you do it. You've got to keep healthy, mate. Put knees on it. Because uh, healthy body equals healthy thighs. Let's go. Oh, I better show you me putting my fire out so that any of you... Any of you Nesbit Wombles out there... That leave it... Leave a leave a mark and leave a trace. We leave no trace. Look at all that juice. Get it all on. Get it all on. Into a mush. Mush. And then we're gonna scatter. Plough the fields and scatter. There you go. And we'll even cover our black our cover where I've been uh, pissing about, mate. Pissing about. Pissing about. There you go. Leave no trace. So yeah, TA outdoors. Um, Andy Wardle. And Foxy shows you steak. I'd love the chance to go on Foxy's podcast to have a word about men's mental health and about the shows you steak challenge and and about just about things like that. And, don't, and it'll be a lot, it'll be uh, 
It'll be a laugh because he's sponsored by whiskey and I'm sponsored by beer, so... <laughs> you know, kind of ironic really, talking about mental health and then getting slashed on whiskey and beer, but it'll be a lols. Take it easy, stay safe. Love you. I'm like Jordan, trying to rise on to the top. Now yeah, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bugs all have gone by by the month. Now yeah, I'm trying to be an icon from the jump. They were war, then I let bygones be bygones. Cause they bugs all have gone by by the month.